Hello, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Animal Art, and I create colorful, therapeutic animal art tutorials for daily creative quiet time. Now don't worry, I'll still be creating my real-time tutorials for my YouTube channel, but I want to start a new series updating you on my 365 days of color progress. And in today's video, I'll show you my process behind this dolphin commission. Let's get started. So the three colors I really wanted to experiment with on this commission is Fluorescent Pink by Liquidex Basics. There's Prisma Violet. It's a little warmer than my regular violet I'm used to using by Master's Touch, and this is Thick Body. And then another one I don't think I've used before is Gray Purple, also by Master's Touch. I have links to this paint brand down below if you're interested. The client gave me so much freedom to choose the reference photo and the colors and she's hired me to do four nautical commissions. So this is the first one. From the planning to the sketching to the painting of this piece, it took me a good six days. This photo was taken at the Brookfield Zoo. My husband for Christmas this year got me a year membership to the Brookfield Zoo in Illinois, only about 45 minutes away from us. So I plan on getting lots and lots of reference photos from them. I absolutely love how these dolphins are posing so well. However, I wasn't fond of all the blue, so instead of using blue, I used my Prisma Violet. Originally, I was going to do all three in just purple, but then I got bored with just purple and I needed some blue in there. I saw so much in my reference photo, so I pulled it in, and then I also pulled some into the waves above this dolphin. It really helps to balance out a painting when you don't just have one bold, strong color in one area but you find ways to place it in other areas, preferably other areas that share that same value. And I know I'm using my imagination here too with color because I've added in that little wave at the top. I tried to make it appear as if there's a scuba diver with his camera sticking partially out of the water and partially inside the water so it can still see these happy little dolphins. Now this dolphin in the lower left corner taught me so much about color. I went with whatever color I found already mixed on my paint palette. I added maybe a little bit more blue or a little bit more purple or white or pink to it and I just placed it where I thought that was the correct value according to the reference photo. So if you look at the very top of the nose on the lower left dolphin, it's very light. So I'm gonna add, I can add a light pink there. I can add a light blue there. I can add a really light purple there. Now if the color that I dabbed on there just appeared too dark, I would add in more white. If I dabbed on a, a color that was too light, I would just simply add in a little bit more blue or more purple. Now to balance colors out even more, you want to add their complement. So at the top of the canvas, I added orange to complement those blues. And then I feel like there's a lot more purples in this painting because the fluorescent pink almost has that lavender look to it slightly. And I think that I knew that would go well with yellow. So I added more yellow than I did orange. Now at the beginning of a painting, I really try to just focus on covering up the white. And then I'll focus on one object at a time, like I am one dolphin at a time, just perfecting the values, adding in more color, making sure the proportions are right, and then I'll move on to the next dolphin. Now, I don't think I've ever shared this on any painting video I've ever made, but I tend to be more nervous and not be in the flow as much when I'm on camera as when I'm off camera. So I literally had to turn off the camera to try and get this middle dolphin right because it just didn't seem right. The, the nose just was off. I think my drawing wasn't quite correct there. I find that I make even worse decisions when I'm doing real-time tutorials and I don't enjoy it as much because I'm so conscious of trying to break it down to make it easy for everyone to understand. And it sort of intervenes, uh, impedes the process. Like I have one strong side of me that enjoys teaching I enjoy seeing the confidence grow and other creatives with these tutorials. Like that's my goal. I, I want to see you succeed in art. But then there's another almost stronger side of me that I, I really dread uh, editing and doing voiceovers. But 
you see, there's this battle always. I, I want to be able to teach more, but I want to be able to paint more. So it's this hard thing that I'm trying to balance this year. And then another big factor is my two little ones have two different naps. And that's when I do all my editing. I try my best to do my painting then. And so I'm traveling all over the house with all my materials. If I'm doing voiceovers, I can't be in the loft because that's right next to Anna Grace's room. <laughs> if I'm painting, I need to be by a light source, by a window. I also need to have a place where I can put my camera. And if it's close to when they're going to wake up, I like to be on the first floor so I can go get them quickly. Anyway, that's just the story behind being a mama, being a full-time artist. It is all a blessing. I'm not complaining, but there's definitely a lot of factors that affect my filming. So here's the sixth day of painting where I finish this piece. I add a little bit of streaks of pink to pull in the pink from the bottom part of the ocean and I finish it off with some little bubbles just to make it look like those waves are really moving. Now I call this painting Sunshine Ocean just because it almost looks like the sunshine is in the water with them. I also think that dolphins have this natural smile so they're just sunny and, and joyful. So there you have it. Now if you'd like to see what I'm working on each day, I post progress on my blog called 365 Days of Color, and I'll also be more making more process videos like this one. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye!